see that and how much of a hurdle it can be for opponents to meet it. That's one reason why the WWE Universe chants her name every time her music hits. She's inspired many people in the crowd. Shoulders down for the count. Definitely looks in a hurry to finish things. And set right into the corner. No love lost between Lynch and her opponent. The man connects. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Inverted DDT. <laughs> Kick right to the midsection. There's a crucifix. Nicely done. She breaks the ref's count. Amazing effort by her. Using the bottom rope. Lynch finds the mark. Lynch, uh-oh. Oh, straight to the floor. No, that was a harebrained idea to try that. Whoa. Was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. Slap two. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More close and personal than I'd like to be. Oh, forget about pandering to the WWE Universe. That should keep her head in the game. Into the power ball. Going to the top rope. Yeah. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. This won't end well. She's fighting back. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. by Becky Lynch. Just hot shot it to the outside. Yeah. Lift off. Whoa, look out. And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Becky in full control here. Manhandle slam. Becky has opened up an opportunity. She throws her back in. Shoulders down. And this one is over. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. WWE Universe, pay your respects to the Tribal Chief. The ultra-dominant Roman Reigns and his special counsel, Paul Heyman. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied 
by their special counsel, Paul Heyman, from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns! Individually, both already have Hall of Fame credentials for Reigns as a competitor, for Heyman as a manager, but now each man is making a strong case for the greatest of all time. Together, they have unified titles, created multiple main events, and set the foundation for the bloodline. And the scary thing is, Reigns and Heyman are only getting started. He could be fighting his final battle. Who will fall on their sword? The Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, has arrived. And a fight is about to start. We have learned that wherever McIntyre goes, brutality follows. Right now, it is McIntyre who is leading the WWE Universe into battle. Scottish warrior has earned every bit of respect he is given. He's transformed from the chosen one to a real life fire breathing dragon. Yeah, the WWE is the Scottish warrior's battleground and he will go face to face with absolutely anyone. The self-proclaimed head of the table, Roman Reigns, truly believes he is the pinnacle of this business and takes issue with anyone who attempts to challenge that position. Self-proclaimed Cole believes he's the pinnacle? Reigns carries himself like he's at the top of this industry because he is at the top of this industry. Everything he does is a statement of dominance and authority that you would do well to acknowledge. Reigns definitely has proven himself many times over the years. But you can't risk underestimating an opponent like Drew McIntyre. He's a truly ferocious competitor. The only thing he loves more than just being in the ring is winning. Yeah, there's no limit to what Drew is willing to endure or even do in the ring to pick up the win. I'm sure we'll see a tenacious effort from him tonight. When 
you got two Goliaths in the ring, like McIntyre and Reigns, you have to think this match will be decided by who wants it more. And the Tribal Chief has shown a willingness to do whatever it takes to win, no matter how ruthless it may be. You might be right, Corey. A particularly brutal plan of attack might be the only way for Reigns to get one over on a steadfast competitor like McIntyre. to take such a risk at the Kimura on the Kimura. Kimura lock applied. Will they take... Hey, look at this. Kimura Nowhere to go. The oh, my God. They broke out of it. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. He went right into that turnbuckle. Caught with a clothesline. McIntyre basically telling him that this is what dominance really looks like. Countered into a jawbreaker. Ricky kick to the face. Shoulder tackle. Sky high. Way up there. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. McIntyre counters with power. Super. 
superstar is looking to risk it all. From the second row, Samoa is raw. Roman Reigns setting up for his friend and move. Roman just showed Drew what destruction the tribal chief is capable of. McIntyre's strength is getting totally nullified by Reigns. Reigns and McIntyre have dropped bombs on each other and somehow are both still alive in this one. Both exhausted, both in pain, but neither one is going to be the one to slow down first. He's turning the tables. Now is a chance for McIntyre to get back. So quick. Claymore. Will Drew finish things now? Kicks out before the count starts. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. And now McIntyre's at a loss as his mind races to rethink his attack. table standing tall McIntyre put up quite the fight but he should have known better than to step to Roman Reigns Drew is not the type to back down but neither is Roman what a fight from these two and congratulations to Roman for the win The following is a tag team match set for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 493 pounds. The Raw Tag Team Champions, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. Here come the ones. Before joining the bloodline, they were already considered an all-time great team, but now they've proven it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, yeah unifying the Raw and SmackDown tag titles, the longest tag title reign in WWE history, that is more than enough proof. The audacious mouthpiece of Imperium, Ludwig Kaiser. A man with over a decade of experience looking to continue his dominance in WWE. And their opponents, first representing Imperium. From Hamburg, Germany, weighing in at 220 pounds, Ludwig yeah. Kaiser. Oh, 
this is Florida, weighing in at 259 pounds, Montel Vontavious Porter, MVP. Well, from humble beginnings, he's really invested in himself as MVP. And the investment has paid off. He is 100% a self-made man and wildly successful in sports entertainment. Here's a man who is no stranger to the sweet taste of success. And he knows how to get a win. MVP will win by any means necessary. And always oozy with confidence. The Usos look as ready as ever. Yeah, it's hard to overstate how far Jimmy and Jay have come. They were in face paint over 10 years ago. Now, they represent the bloodline. With that backing behind them, there is nothing that can throw them off. And you know, their whole family is looking to them to carry the strong legacy further. We'll see how they fare tonight. They are a well-oiled machine that can run a seminar in tag team wrestling. They certainly pose a real threat to their competition who might have a difficult time matching their chemistry. Jimmy Uso, but he is giving his opponent a lot of time here. Charming European uppercut. Tag is made. Parker going up top. Uh-oh. Uso splash. This match grinded him down a little. Top elbow 
drop. Good lord. He's on his heels a bit now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner. And the cover for the win. There's a shoulder up almost immediately. He didn't even let the ref start the count. some taunting going on. You know, I can't say I'm surprised. 